All right, guys, today we set up the Nether Star farm. We get an unbreakable hoe and we go through a bunch of different rewards. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so last episode, it has been a little bit, but last episode, we went ahead and we made this room here, made it all nice and beautiful, um, but we uh, we have an issue here. Uh, we keep having all of our... Whoa, phone going off. Sorry, guys. We uh, <laughs> we, we did, uh, don't have any unbreaking hose, so they, I've been using the sugarcane and diamond one. Uh, let's see here. It should be... I've been using this one because this thing has uh, 4,500 durability. And so it's a, you know, it's got more durability than just a normal diamond tail, but it, it wears out pretty quickly. And we don't want that at all. We, we want to do things the right way. So these go in there, it mines them all, but as you can see that it takes lots of damage. So we do have it set up in auto crafting for an unbreakable hoe, this guy here, Supremium hoe, uh, durability is unlimited. Uh, and if we try to make one, as you can see, we run into an issue. For one, it takes a little bit to calculate, and two, we need a nether star. Now, a few episodes ago, was the last episode or a few episodes ago? We made this, we made uh, withered skeleton skull things. Yeah. So we need to go ahead and make some wither proof blocks. So we're going to put this here. Uh, I have already gone ahead and made up. Uh, ooh. If you look there at the far right, that one is going to be where our wither is. We're going to put it into a compact machines. Uh, not only because we've been kind of doing that for a whole bunch of stuff lately, but because if this guy ends up getting out, or if, if any of them end up getting out, um, it's going to be bad news bears. It's going to be bad. So if we have them in there, it'll be less bad. So we have a bunch of reinforced obsidian. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to make... Is this that? No, this is the wrong glass. What glass do we need? Dirty glass. You dirty glass, huh? Dirty glass. And we got this. Cool beans. Let's do two stacks of those because we can. Obakabi. So we have those. We're going to need a uh, mob, another mob crusher. And believe it or not, this thing will kill the snot out of a, uh, a wither, believe it or not. Crazy. Okay. Oh, we needed that crusher. We didn't need to put it in our inventory. Okay, there we go. So let's see, uh, we need some conduits. Cause we're gonna need to get this stuff out of there. Probably gonna go with those conduits. Okay, and then some block placers. Now which one, are they still over here? They're not. I, for, mm, I think these are the ones we wanna use. Those are the heads, and then one, two, three, four. That's for the soul sand. Are we making soul sand yet? We are not making soul sand. Well, technically we are. We're just, we're going to end up converting one of those guys into like the soul sand maker. Okay. So, oh, the KB. We're going to need, we're going to need to make four of these. And let's get some dye going. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're going to make two sets. So set one, set two. And now these ones will be set to the outside. Like that. Now those are linked up. And these ones will be set just to the left. So these are their own channel, basically. And then these are their own channel, basically. And so what we're going to do is we're going to export uh, wither skeleton heads and uh, our, and the soul sand. Um, so wither skeleton heads, we'll probably just have to put here. Uh, let's get some, whoops, some accelerator cards. And let's get an export bus. Nope, I got to make one. 
Cool. So let's get on down here. Hello, chickens. Goodbye, chickens. Okay. So we're going to make that one. No, excuse me. Ah, stupid thing. Okay. So this will be the wither skeleton heads. As you can see, that's, that threw all of our wither skeleton heads in there. Cool. And we're going to have to configure the other one to be... Um, Soul sand. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in there, and we're gonna set a bit of this up. I'll be right back. All right. So I forgot that Optifine uh, doesn't really work with this reinforced glass. Uh, this reinforced glass. I put a T at the end of that. So we're gonna go ahead, break in here. I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on. So I have this little funnel here. So what it's what's gonna happen? What's 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 gonna happen? Is um, we're gonna go like this. And these are where the heads are gonna be placed. This is where this is gonna be. Placed, maybe. Ah, shoot. Dang it. Okay. So there we go. We have the blocks getting placed. Uh, so they're all going to obviously get placed. Let's put this back. So the, the withers are going to get spawned in. They're, by these guys here, they're going to fall down. And once they're ready, they're going to get smacked. They're going to get smacked right into booty hole. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, we're going to put this on the back here. I think this will, uh, this can withstand the blast, if I'm not mistaken. This is center. Yep. I'm just going to put this guy here. We'll just need like a super minimal upgrade for this guy because he's only like a one thing in front of him. So we'll need to run the power to that guy. And so what we're going to do is, so this is the heads. So we'll put this up here, and this is everything else. So we'll put this, or the soul sands, we'll put that guy there. I need to put that somewhere else. And I believe each of these need power, right? Oh, no, they shouldn't. I don't, actually, I don't think they need power. So we can just run pipes into the back of them. And so let's see here, extract out here. Actually, we're going to do the heads on, oops, on brown. So insert on brown. Okay, well, that doesn't seem to want to work right. Hmm. I don't think that's going to work. Okay, let me see if I can find an alternative solution for this, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're back up here. I went ahead and we switched over to these block placer thingamabobbers. Uh, we can go ahead and put these back in here. And so these are going to put all of them in here. Let's make sure that it's round robin. So that way, this should be relatively even because it's not being relatively even right now. Now it is, okay, so we should be okay. We should be good to go now. Cool beans, so I have some redstone conduit here that is supposed to transmit a redstone signal to these bad boys. And we're gonna need to do this, like so. Huh, I can't stand there anymore. Uh, Okay, cool. So we're going to extract on um, green here, and then all of these will be in circle. We'll sneak our way around. Cool. And then we're also going to put the redstone stuffs on here. We should be able to do this. Cool, so that, that to extract. 
All right, so that connects there, right? Yep, okay. Cool, and I also got a timer here that we're going to set up. Let's see. Just like so. Put that there so we can stand, okay. So delay, we wanna go probably every 200. Nah, probably more like three. Let's do 100. What if we just did so that okay so these are seconds uh, so let's just do 30 seconds that is not 30 seconds these are ticks i think there's four ticks in a second so let's just do 100 and call it good so that'll spawn in a wither every 100. there should be skulls up here so it's going to require soul sand i believe right So we'll do round robin. Hmm. This not activating, is that the issue? Hmm, input. See if that place is a block. Hey, come on. Oh, that did. That did place a block. Okay, so I need to go configure all of those. I will be right back. Oop, just bonked my head. Okay. All right, I think we got it. Why did this one get placed and the other ones didn't? Oh, I didn't set these up right. Oops, whoops, totally forgot. Um, we still need to set up this here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It worked. Oh, man. I'm scared. So he's already at the bottom. He dropped here pretty fast. So there should be no way he can get out. Instantly dead. Oh, that broke. Hmm. Hmm. Bop. Whoa, Nelly. Let's be up he here. Oh, no, it's spawning too fast. There's one. There's two. There's three. I see skulls over here. Gosh dang it, they're they're just breaking. Ah I thought we had it all set up. Alright, hold this. <laughs> uh, why is it that these two didn't blow up oh man so they're too close is that it hmm hmm Okay, I'm not sure. Give me a sec. All right, guys, we got it all figured out. Oh my goodness, I am so ec ecstatic, ecstatic, 
check this out. So I have different guys in here. These are the block placers from, let's have a look. Uh, these guys here from Industrial Foregoing. So I figured, I was like, hey, this crusher took a wither straight to like a block away and didn't do anything. So why don't we use the uh, the Industrial Foregoing versions of that? And uh, the cool thing is I'm, I have it set up so that the um, the soul sand is always placed. Whenever it it whenever it uh, it can place it, it places it, and then the wither uh, skull heads those are set on a timer. So every 500 ticks we get a wither in, and our system now we actually can uh, go a bit faster. But uh, actually, let's go let's go ahead and set that. Last time I went in here, there was a wither as soon as I spawned in, which exploded right in front of my face. So I took like two hearts of damage. <laughs> So we'll see if that happens again. No, okay. But yeah, this thing definitely can go faster. Because if we look here, I went ahead and we already have soul sand coming in. And so what if we were to go, say, 250? Say we got him in. He explodes. Come on, go boom. Boom, and he's gone. And so I would like it so that he's one spawns in. One spawns in every uh like every time he dies. So one dies, another one's spawning in. So boom, he's dead. Right. And how long do we gotta wait? Oh. Let's have a look here. I think the issue. OK, so the issue is our timer. That makes sense. So the timer, it's activating too quick. It's not it's not pausing enough for the redstone signal. So but we can go ahead and fix that pretty easily. There is a much uh, a different timer we can do. Uh, I liked I like the RF tool, tools one because it looks cool when it's mounted up on the wall. But we do have this guy here, and this takes a little bit to make. So I'm gonna start making it up, and I will be right back. Oh, we gotta smelt up these stuff. All right, guys. So we got a solution. This seems to be the best one so far. Uh, so we are using a draconic evolution uh, dislocation receptacle. It's basically like a think of a portal. Uh, so let's see. Let's wait for this guy to explode. Hopefully we can break this before we see the next guy. Cool. We broke it. So as you can see, they fall down into that portal. He gets transported over here. The issue was is it seemed like the blast explosion kept knocking out these things. But when I, when I moved them over to their own separate one and then completely sealed that room off, it seemed to fix it. So all this is, is it's just the uh, the Draconic Infused Obsidian. I'll show you guys here. It's just this. Uh, pretty simple to make. And then it's one of these guys. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? One of these dislocator recep uh, recept... And it just takes a Draconic Core and all that. And then what you do is you use a dislocator. Uh, you set where the dislocator's point is, which is in here. And then you just put it into this guy, and then that activates the portal. So that's how we have it set up. Uh, this will work... Uh, however long we need it to. And the cool thing is we have it set up so that the uh, soul sand instantly gets placed and then we wait for the skulls to get placed. So if we run out of skulls, uh, this won't ever clog up. And the thing is, is with our system, we won't run out of soul sand. We'll run out of skulls way before we run out of soul sand. Um, so yeah, this is, keeps piping in here from the other place. We can actually make it faster if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is how we're uh, we're doing things. It's very uh, very neat. So let's let's make our way back into a normal world and check how many nether stars we got. So that's how it's supposed to look. You're supposed to be able to see through that glass. Um, so there's that working. We have our mob farm over here that's working like a dream for our wither skulls, rubber. Our another course. This is where our um, our soul sand's coming from. You can see I have two ender chests here. I have, this is the uh, soul sand ender chest. 
So then, then there's a, oh yeah, we need to make a uh, unbreakable hoe real quick. So let's come on back here. Um, no, we need the one. So actually, I want to show you guys this. So I used to have this problem where this would get clogged up with like armor and all that. So what I did is since all of these are all translocators and they're stupid fast when putting items in, I put some slow like uh, downgrades on here. So it takes items out of here really slow. So if like a chess piece gets into here, it, it goes slow and then it throws it into the trash can. So we don't have to worry about it. The only issue is, is getting the items that we need. It's a little difficult sometimes. So let's see how many... How was that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, so we have 52 nether stars already. So we can make a, um, oh yeah, it's down here. We can make, I'm trying to think of the word. We, we can make the unbreakable hose. That's what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and make that, but we have to get rid of that and let these kind of build up a bit. We need at least three. So whenever that mines, uh, come on, where'd it go? There it is. Hmm. We got a lot of uh, stuff like that. So let's see here, what do we need for another star seed? These guys, what do we need? Obviously we need tier six and four nether stars. Hmm, well, then we need this guy. That's all makeable because we are getting, ooh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Let's let's make some nether star seeds, everyone. We should be able to make these. All right. Just make 16 of them. Let's see here. Um, we're, I'm worried about this first. So that's just nine. Okay, so we got the two we need. Need two of these. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so what do we need for the seed? We just need some uh, tier six crafting seeds. So let's make some tier five. Just make one of them. Super easy. Now let's see here. Okay, that'll craft up real quick. So we should already be done. Yeah. So let's just go like that. Uh, Oops, we need four more of these. Okay. So we got the tier six. Got the four of these and booyah, we can make nether stars out of seeds, everyone. Holy crap. Uh, I'm gonna put this over, over there. When, see, do we have any? We have two of these, okay, we have two skulls. But dang, dudes, nether star seeds. Can you believe that? Holy crap, dudes. Holy crap. Holy crap. You know what this means? Nether star seed. We need nether stars. We make these, and for every nine of these, we get one of these. And for every three of these, so every 27 of the essence, we get one nether star. So if we get like, because the plan is that these three will all be nether stars. Nether star seeds. So that's freaking awesome. See, do I still, I do have the hoe on me. And so what we can actually do since, um, yeah, this isn't set up yet. So let's go like this. And actually, let's take this out. Smack this here. Boom. Put that candy back. I ain't buying y'all that mess. So that's working like a dream. Because life could be dreaming. Okay, so we got three of them. So let's go ahead and make up a unbreakable hoe. We just need one of these. What are we missing now? <gasps> We're missing sticks. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't have any sticks. All right, so a hoe. And booyah! Look at that, everyone. Holy crap, dudes. We've done it. Unbreakable ho. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go put this in our infirmium guy. Uh, here you are. And this will be the first one.
As you can see, we don't need this anymore. And so that's just harvesting away. I don't know why that's in there. Yeah, this is charging us up, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. That's cool. So charge us up faster. 18. Not really. Okay, so it's, it should slow. Oh, no. It's got a whole bunch. So infirmium seeds, huh? Hmm, that's cool. But now this is 100% running all on its own. We don't have to touch this at all, like, ever again. We can just literally leave the room and never go back. That's how neat it is. Isn't it neat? So neat. So freaking neat. All right. So Unbreakable Ho, Nether Stars, Nether Star Seeds. What more do you guys want in a video? Oh, I know what you want. You want dang quests, don't you? Yeah, let's get some quests going. All right, Phantom Face. Okay, we go storage. I did a whole bunch of storage ones. Simple Alloy Smelter. All right, let's do it. Then we go Invar Laser Gun. All right. Co-processing unit. A generator. 1K. Water mills. 4K. Diamond tier. 16K. Reinforcement conversion kit. And 64K. <gasps> yes! Yes, we got another party pickaxe, everyone. Oh, so nice. All right, we got this 4K storage cell. Forge Lexington. Lexicon. And then Black Lotus. And then another Black Lotus. Uh, that's not fun. Okay, I guess we have a water cow somewhere. <gasps> oh, shoot, really? We don't need this guy. We don't need these guys. Oh, shoot. That nether star is never going to grow, is it? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. Now it will grow. Okay. Let's make our way back down. There we go. So there we go. We got six quests left to do. We got the Infirmium ones, Master. Oh, Draconian or Draconian, whatever it is. A watermill, Prosperity Shard. Oh, I already claimed it. A Flux Bore, okay. Octatic Capacitor. Double layer capacitor, okay. And then this guy. Invar Hammer. Sweet. We went through 18 quests, everyone. We got a lot of stuff. Got a party pick again. Super fast. Amazingness. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, we're super chill and I'm out. And we made some amazing progress today. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.